oftentimes when we think of elegant food, we think of food that takes a labor of love to prepare. That's why I think we only see cheesy potatoes au gratin at holidays. Not only are they a labor of love, but they're extra rich, cheesy, and creamy. So in order to make the cheesy, creamy base to this recipe, I have one cup of cottage cheese, one cup of plain Greek yogurt, And this is gonna make the creamy, cheesy base to our cheese sauce. Then I have one half cup of Parmesan cheese. And I'm just gonna add everything for the cheese sauce into a small bowl. Then we have one egg. And then for the second egg, we're just gonna do an egg white. And this is gonna be really simple. You just break it in half and then you just kind of toss the egg back and forth so you get the egg white in there. And what that does is the egg white just helps bind everything together. Then one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, and one fourth teaspoon of onion powder. Then we're gonna stir this together. Now to swap out the potatoes in this recipe, instead of potatoes that we think of as a rich, savory dish at the holidays, we're gonna use cauliflower and broccoli instead. Now you could just use cauliflower for this recipe, but I really like the combination of cauliflower and broccoli. So we're gonna do both today. In order to prepare the cauliflower and broccoli for this recipe, I just simply steam it in the microwave or you could steam it in a pot or even roast it in an oven. So we have our steamed cauliflower and broccoli here and I'm gonna add our ingredients for our cheese sauce right to the bowl and I'm gonna stir to combine everything so that the cauliflower and broccoli is nicely coated in this wonderful cheese sauce. So a lot of times when I go out to eat, I will look at the most fancy, elegant dishes. And what I'll think to myself is, how can I make this at home? Not only in an easier way, but with a healthy spin on it. And when I started to learn how to cook, I remember that I was so overwhelmed by looking at all of the ingredients and all of the really long methods. And I thought, there's no way I can learn how to cook this at home. And then I started to just take recipes and find simple ways to put an easy spin so that I could make it really simple. You see how I put everything into one bowl and I just stirred it together so it made for a really simple way of making this recipe. Now I'm gonna take everything in this bowl and just add it to an eight by eight baking pan that I sprayed with cooking spray. And then we're just gonna use a spatula to spread it out. And you'll be surprised at how easy this is. And you might find yourself actually making it not just for a special occasion, but for an everyday weeknight as well. It makes for a wonderful side dish to have with grilled chicken or any of your favorite cuts of meat. Then I'm just gonna top it with one cup of shredded cheese. You could do Asiago cheese, mozzarella, cheddar, anything you like. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven at 450 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until the cheese gets nice and bubbly on top. 